Hi, this is Aaron with Zolo Tech. Uh, as you, you may have seen the last video with the uh, silicone case from Rivet, uh, we also uh, received from them um, their screen protector, so I wanted to show you this. Uh, I've used a few sp screen protectors. Um, you know, some of the cases I reviewed, like the OtterBox had it built in, uh, or you have the uh, the Vaja case that's got like a you know a flip cover. So. Uh, I thought we'd take a look at this. The I've used the Switch Easy. I know what they're all about, so I figured we'd check these out. Um, let me just show you what it says here. So, you know, it says the obvious present, prevents damage from fingerprints. Now, I like this. Can be washed and replaced, so that's pretty cool. Uh, you know, it says no adhesive used, leaves no residue on screen, easy to apply. Just gives some instructions on how to apply it. And, um... Let's see, it says, so in here it says screen protector, cleaning cloth, and installation card. Um, on the back, clean the surface, peel and fold back mask about an inch away, align the screen protector. Okay, so your basic stuff. So let's take a look. Now hopefully I can open this. Um, I do not have any anything right here. Alright, let's see guys. All right, so there we go. I was able to, able to rip that. There we go. Okay, that just comes off nicely like that. I don't know how many to give you, but we'll see. Okay, so this this looks just like the kind of screen protector you get with uh, like a Switch Easy, um, you know, Switch Easy Rebel case or whatever. So that's it. You just have this sleeve. Um, you have a little squeegee, which isn't mentioned on the package, but that's that's always nice to to uh, apply this. I don't know if they want you to put this on a keychain or what, but I guess it would work. This isn't a uh, this is pretty pretty tough. I don't know if it's a piece of plastic. Let's see. Yeah, this is plastic. So um, I guess you could carry it around if you needed to ever squeegee your screen. And uh, they give you a microfiber cloth. Real nice, soft to clean the clean the screen with here, and I definitely need to apply one of these because I got a scratch. The funny thing is, I just took the screen protector off when I was going to do the review. I did. Um, <laughs> it fell on the floor, got a little scat scratch here, and uh, oh well, not a whole lot I can do now. So let's go ahead and uh, take this off. Now they only give you one screen protector in here, so you got one shot. It's not that hard to do if you've ever done that before, but if you clean this off real good. Okay, so I've cleaned this screen up. Uh, just sorry, I had to leave there for a second to clean the screen up. I was going to hit a little bit uh, more stuff on it than I thought. Now, unfortunately, like I mentioned before, there's a little bit of a scratch there. You can probably see that. Uh, I just want to show you how to apply this. You probably already know, but uh, we'll just take a look at it anyway. So, this is going to sit, this is the back, this is the front. And uh, it's nice that they actually, you know, obviously, uh, like many of these, they have two covers. So, you know, you're gonna, this is just going to sit like that. Uh, it fits really nice. Let me show you. So that fits really nice. And this is, uh, you can see that. So, um, let's see. The screen guard, please. Be, okay. So, just like any of the others, we'll go ahead and put this on. Now, you really have to take your time uh, putting these on. Unfortunately, I am not the most patient person, but if you don't take your time with this, you're going to ruin it, and then you have to wash it and try and get all the lint off it, and it'll never be. Um, <coughs> excuse me. It'll never be like it was when it was new. So, even though you can wash it, it's still pretty difficult if you. Uh, you know, if you don't. So they say, you know, peel and fold the mask away about an inch, align the screen protector. Yeah, so I've done this before, but uh, you know, I figured that's the back. Now I do it this way just because I know it may or may not be the best way, but I like to line that bottom hole up just like that and lay it flat. Now I got everything out from under there. It's on there really nice. You can see all the air bubbles. 
I've got it all around the corners real good. Um, I've got it around the gap. Now we take the squeegee. This is pretty self-explanatory, but we take the squeegee. I've got all these little wrappers around here. And try and squeegee some of these air bubbles out. Now, if you haven't done this, this is where it takes a little bit of patience. Sometimes you have to pull the the uh, cover back up to get the air bubbles out, and it becomes a little bit of a tedious task to do that. <coughs> Excuse me again. Um, this one's actually going on really nice. Looks like I kind of lucked out a little bit, but um, we'll see here. And because you got this cover, no harm, you know, no harm in just pushing real hard. There we go. So push real hard, get all the air bubbles out. I, I kind of can do it a little bit better sometimes with your finger or your thumb pushing hard on this screen to get this air bubble out. This one's being a little bit stubborn, so we'll see if we can push it out with this squeegee, and it looks like I've just about got it. So see, you can see this is really a clear screen, and we're just about done. Um, boy. But yeah, I mean, it's nice that they include this little squeegee that's plastic with a little keychain. It's kind of, uh, you know, attention to detail. So I wanted to see what this, you know, with the screen protector on, get the whole set here of their uh, rivet now stuff. There we go. There. Now, I don't know if there's anything under this corner, but looks like... It's one thing I hate about screen protectors is I do not want any bubbles. And if there's bubbles, I don't, I'd rather not even use one. Uh, but now I'm a little bit more scared just because I got my first scratch. I had an iPhone, a first-gen iPhone, with not one scratch on it. And uh, unfortunately, that didn't work out so well. So we'll go ahead and peel this back. And there you have it. So there is a little bit... There we go. I don't know if you can see that, but that's pretty good. You can't see any bubbles, especially when it's on. There's nothing. Um, there's a little bit of a bubble right here. Let's see what the whole package looks like with their rivet now, in you know, their rivet silicone case. The uh, the screen protector. That's a really high quality screen protector. Um, I've used a couple. Like I said, this one is. Identical to the Switch Easy one, uh, you may see a few others, you know, that are that are similar. A lot of them are going to come from the same manufacturers, you know, just badge with their name, and they didn't even have their name on it. Nobody really does on the screen protector, so let's get this to fit really nicely. And there you go. So that is, again, that is the screen protector from Rivet. Um, really nice, you can see. Um, I know the, the white balance is a little screwy with this, but you can see there's no bubbles. It looks real good. Works really well from what I can tell so far. Let's see how this swipes here. Yeah, so really nice. Not sticky, not tacky. Uh, real slippery. And if you, give this a, uh, if you give this a good wipe here, there I have some email. If you give this a good wipe, real slick, real slippery. So that's a good package. And... Uh, I, like and like I said, I don't know the the price off the top of my head. We'll ch I'll, I'll put that in the notes, in the info in the upper right there. Um, but check that out. Um, and, and please rate the video. Uh, it helps with traffic a lot. Um, we're going to be doing a giveaway soon. I've had a lot of cases now, so it's time to do you know get rid of some of them. I don't need them all. Uh, I only use a couple usually. I, you know, I'll switch as I get new ones. Um, but yeah, and, and so, you know, if we rate this, we can get more people involved in that giveaway, that sort of thing. So, and again, this is that the uh, rivet silicone case. Uh, you probably just watched the video or may have looked at it, uh, and with the screen protector on it. So, uh, I don't know if they're a newer company or what, but uh, I really like their their uh, case. I I don't like most silicone cases, and this is really uh, a decent case from what I can from what I've used so far has you know I've only used it for a little while today uh, but really nice so again that's from rivet uh, they're at rivetnow.com